Hello friends, I Smita Singh on the behalf of Guru KPO welcomes you and today we will discuss the type of pollution which is responsible for more than 4% deaths in United States according to research data. Air pollution. First of all, what is air pollution? Air pollution is introduction of any hazardous substance which could be in biological or chemical or physical phase and it is hazardous for not only for human beings or any biological organism. In air pollution, there are lots of pollutants which are responsible for that and these pollutants are substances which can create the modulation in the quality of air. For example, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, oxides of nitrogen, oxides of sulfur and a range of chemicals and physical substances are there. Now we come to types of pollutants. Generally we divide these pollutants into two categories, primary pollutants and secondary pollutants. Now what is the difference between these primary and secondary pollutants? Primary pollutants are the pollutants which emit directly from sources. For example, emission of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide or oxides of sulfurs from automobiles or vehicles. Now secondary. Secondary are the pollutants which not directly emitted from the sources but they form from the reaction between primary pollutants and the example of secondary pollutants are pen. Do you know what is pen? It is peroxyacetyl nitrate and it forms due to reaction between oxides of nitrogen and volatile organic compounds. A very good example of secondary pollutant is ground level ozone. Now we come to sources of air pollution. Here again we divide sources of air pollution into two categories. First is anthropogenic and second natural. Anthropogenic means by human activities. In human activities we all know our each and every activity is hazardous for our environment. For example, the uses of vehicles or different kind of industries and there are a range. Natural. In natural sources, we can count volcanoes eruption, soil erosion. Soil erosion is a very, very good source for suspended particulated matter. Now we can understand that how huge problem is this for us. So that now we are going to discuss a case study to control this air pollution. This case study is about a city which is second largest city in the world. And the air of this city is so polluted that only living and breathing one day in the city is equivalent to smoking two packets of cigarette per day. The level of pollution was so high that United States ranked this city's air as most polluted air on this planet. And later six years air pollution earned the city as most polluted and dangerous city for children. Do you know what's the name of city? Yes, it is Mexico. Mexico, the second largest city, which is in the shape of a valley, a bowl shaped valley and surrounded from three sides with hills. And this city is rich of air pollution. The population of this city is more than 20,000 million and which is constantly increasing. The number of vehicles is more than 3 million and maximum of them are old vehicles. And from those vehicles, 
more than 4 million tons of pollutants every year adding to the environment. Not only these vehicles but dried fecal material in the form of polluted particles, suspended particles are also adding. And do you know from where they are coming? They are coming from dried fecal matter which has been dumped as sewage waste. Not only sewage waste and vehicles but a range of different kind of industry which are in number of 36,000 and thousands of LPG containers were also adding their contribution in modulating the environment. So, at the end of the day, Mexican government has decided to reduce this pollution. And do you know what did they? They did reforestation. Reforestation in the hilly region to reduce the suspended particulated matter which has been introduced by fecal dried matter and soil eruption. They have been introduced leaded petrol. They also imported cleaner fuel from US. So these all contributed in reducing the pollutant level in the air. They also did a very good thing. Do you know what was that? It was ban of vehicles, private vehicles for one day. And if the pollution is very high, then the ban was extended to two or three days. So all these steps reduced the level of pollution in Mexico. But still there is a long way to go. So now we can understand how these small small steps can make a huge difference in our environment. We can also take such kind of steps and we can also stop use our own vehicle at least for one day in a week. Not only week if we can't do in a week then we can go for a month. We can stop using such kind of vehicles once in a month. If we do such a small or tiny changes in our lifestyle, we can contribute huge to our environment. For more details, please visit www.gurukpo.com. Thank you very much.